Why do people keep abandoning my cart? If you're having issues with your shop abandonment rate, stay tuned, this video is for you. All right, so as any e-commerce store owner knows or anybody who works in the e-commerce space, one huge issue that we all run into is why did that many people add to cart and why did only that many people check out? Sometimes it's a staggering number and you're like, what is going on? That would have been an additional thousands of dollars of revenue for me. Well, what happens is it might have something to do with your cart abandonment and your journey throughout your website. So in this video, I'm gonna break down some great tips that we have utilized for our clients, as well as me, I have utilized for my e-commerce store. So all right, let's be real here. There are many times where I go onto Amazon or I go onto a store and I add things to my cart that I don't really intend on purchasing. But even in that case, there have been many times where I still purchase because of something that occurs on the website. In the industry, we call that the customer journey, the user experience, the checkout process. So first place to wonder about is why did they stop? What is occurring on your website that either did occur that shouldn't have occurred or something didn't happen that should have happened? Did you know that one in every five customers generally stops the checkout process because of the complicated aspect of it? one out of every five. They experienced something that made it too difficult for them to follow through, input their credit card information, and purchase from you. One of the main things that we see is some websites still require people to actually create an account prior to checkout. So unless you're a subscription company, my first recommendation is to never force someone to create an account to purchase something from you. Remember, we want to keep this easy. People are buying online because it is easier than going to the store. So let's make it easy for them. So this is kind of a broad stroke of a recommendation. Start your process or ask a family member who isn't very computer savvy to try to check out on your store. Have one of your employees check out on the store and tell them to be as honest as possible because they're not going to get fired. They're helping the business. Ask them to be brutally honest. What is the process of checking out for you? Once they give you your feedback, make it easier and then do that again. Ask somebody else to do the new checkout process to get their feedback. You want to make this as simple and foolproof as possible. Next tip, offer autofill address information. So a lot of times you can automatically have Google Pay, Apple Pay, PayPal, everything set up, or if they have registered through your business and they've been to your website before, make sure that within your privacy policy, you have it set that you're going to keep their information cookied or in your database so that next time they go onto your website, that information is filled in and all they need to do is either add their credit card number or even better, just add the CVV number on the back of the credit card to ensure that it's them. So that's my next tip. Make it so simple that people won't leave because it's too difficult. One of the things that I've implemented on savagemangrooming.com is pop-ups. So if someone clicks buy beard conditioner, add to cart, a pop-up occurs immediately that asks them if they would like to go to the checkout page. I don't need people fumbling around to figure out how to get to their cart to check out. The other thing within these pop-ups is upsells and cross-sells. So the upsell would be, hey, buy two, get 20% off. The cross-sell is, hey, you might also really like this beard conditioner or pomade or beard balm. So although I'm pushing people to the cart as quickly as possible, I'm still giving them the option of shopping through recommended products. So I highly recommend utilizing these different tools and plugins that Shopify and WooCommerce has to simplify the process so that they don't have to go click on that corner button with the little shopping bag. You can automatically direct them there. It's just like at the grocery store when you're shopping and then you get to the end and they have either the end caps with all the sales with all the chips or 
the cashier with all the candy. It's like that last ditch effort to get another sale. That's how we need to look at our e-commerce stores. My next tip is call to actions. Once they get to your checkout page, you want to make sure there is absolutely zero question of what they should do next. First step, name, address, contact information. Next step, purchase. So the clear and concise steps to getting that purchase, you want that clear as day, the most beautiful clear skies in the world. That's what you need to do in order to get this process, the user experience, the customer journey as effective and seamless as possible. Another little hack that we found to be extremely useful is to get people's email addresses as early in the checkout process as possible. Because then, let's say something happened, baby starts crying, dog poops on the floor, your boss calls, whatever. You've captured their email so that then you can put them into your cart abandonment email flow to recapture that. These things that seem so obvious are not being used by so many e-commerce stores. And they're relatively easy to implement or you hire a company to do it, whatever. These are the steps you need to do to make sure that your conversion rate goes from a 0.8 to a 2.8. Subtle changes like these make a difference. Another tip that I have for you today, freebie, is for you guys to implement reviews or consumer trust during this process. So let's say there is some hesitation that mm, maybe I don't want to buy these headphones or maybe this hat isn't the right color or these shoes might not fit. If you put reviews within your checkout page in this process that says, oh my God, these are the most comfortable shoes ever. Oh my God, this hat is the perfect color. Whatever these reviews may be, make sure that they're there so that when they get to that bottom part where it says email address, confirm, the hesitation is less because right below that button, they are seeing actual customer reviews. It's that last ditch effort. You've done the cross sell, you've done the upsell, you've got them to the checkout page. They're about to do it. They're about to give you their email address, which is gonna go into an email flow. And they're like, eh, do I click? And then it's a simple, hey, these are the best shoes I've ever worn. I couldn't be happier and they say yes these are the shoes I want to buy if you guys are finding this video useful go ahead thumbs up and let's get back into it so putting the consumer trust back into the eyes of the person who is about to purchase is vital now I just talked about this little tip in one of my last videos but it's chat bots so understanding how people are interacting with your website how long they're on page how long they're looking at products what collections are they looking at having a chat option there with either an artificial intelligence or a live person to answer any questions that these people may have, again, will result in an increased conversion rate and less of an abandoned cart checkout process. This one's super easy. Make sure that you guys are offering a variety of different payment options. Maybe I've gone through a checkout and about to check out, but I've realized I left my wallet, but it doesn't matter because I have my PayPal and Google Pay set up here so I can pay through either option. Easy, let's move on. If you guys are liking this video, if you're finding value, go ahead, thumbs up. So at the end of the day, it takes a lot of time, resources, and money to get people onto your website. The last thing you wanna do is lose them right before they're about to purchase. So make sure to follow these tips. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I personally will respond to them, answer any questions you guys have, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and check out our blog where you can find amazing content about how to do all these things at bluewatermarketing.com forward slash blog.